Hello, this is a brief setup guide for those of you wanting to get your Moza KS wheel set up in any simulator you'd like. Let's go! First, you want to quickly pop into the Moza Pit House software and click on the wheel icon on the left hand side of your screen, which will bring you onto this screen. On the first page labelled Steering Wheel Settings, you'll find a lot of the settings related to how inputs and functions work, like the Dual Clutch Paddles mode right here, which simply defines how the clutch paddles work. Axes combine, meaning that both paddles occupy a percentage of the clutch's total travel, and when you pull both in, they add up to 100%. Axis split means both paddles are completely separate, and button means the paddles either output a 1 or a 0, meaning full input or no input whatsoever. Next are the rotor encoder's band knob mode setting. Button means each individual setting has its own input, whereas knob inputs a positive or a negative signal wherever you are on the wheel. And finally, the button brightness and RPM LED brightness are just the brightness of the lights on the wheel. Moza have also made it incredibly easy to change the button LED colours, as all you need to do is hover your mouse over the button you'd like to change and just simply click on the colour you'd like. Next up is the RPM LEDs tab, where at the very top you have a few options to really customise the RPM LEDs to your liking. The engine RPM indicator switch mode setting, where you can make the LEDs act like a regular RPM indicator, turning on and lighting up as you drive, you can simply turn them off, or you can turn them into vanity lights, like I've done here. Next up is the engine RPM indicator display mode, what a mouthful. <laughs> Uh, where you have two options, mode 1 and mode 2. Mode 1 meaning that as you go up in the RPMs, each light turns on and the colour is independent from one another. Mode 2 means that as they turn on, the entire active bar will switch to the active RPMs colour. And finally, we have the telemetry LEDs tab, where I'ma be honest, with the KS wheel, you don't really have the LED real estate unless you turn off the RPM LEDs. But if you do want to turn these on, you can do so by clicking the switches on the right hand side of each of these options. And you can customise the colours and patterns of each of these just by, like, the buttons hovering over and selecting whatever colour you'd like to use. Now all that's left is to go into any simulator you'd like and set up the buttons exactly how you'd like them. Hope this helped any of you that have recently upgraded your simulator setups with this fantastic wheel. And if you want to find out how to set up more of Moses' wheels or wheelbases, make sure to check out Moses' channel right here. Until next time, 